Hello and welcome to my channel, My Garden, My Passion. Today I have some friends visiting me to see my garden and they also want to learn some things from me. But since it's a garden group itself, all ladies of course, I was not too sure about what I'm supposed to talk there since they know all the basics about gardening. Then I zeroed down upon these tray gardens. So I thought, let, let me talk to them about tray gardens, what plants to mix and what not to mix, how you cannot mix succulents and uh, with foliage plants. So I'm all excited about it. And we'll see now how it went on. Welcome to my garden again and my house. And I'm so happy that you have all come. Uh, I feel privileged that somebody has come to see my garden. And I am uh, uh, Shobha Nagnur, uh, Dr. Shobha Nagnur. Uh, so uh, this is my ancestral home in the sense it's my father's, my grandfather's maternal side. So my grandfather uh, got all these big trees and all. Uh, during his time, they were planted. The chikku trees, mango trees and uh, all that. Then next, my father, when he retired, he came. And when he retired and came home from Bangalore, he came with two truckloads of plants only. He didn't have other possessions. <laughs> so, so there are some very nice plants and rare plants which are still there in my garden. Somebody was asking the foliage anthuriums, the elocasia and variety of begonias and all are there since nine. Yeah, philodendrons. That big philodendron, what yeah. you say. Uh, since uh, he, came, he retired and came in 1986. So from then on, and he was very artistic type and he had got these sculptures and all uh, put here, wherever it is. I am a gardener since three generations. I am a third generation gardener. Uh, so, and all my grandfather, my grandmother, my father, my mother, and uh, all of us, sisters, all of us are involved. And me little more because... Uh, I mean, I was in agriculture university. I did my BSc. I joined home science here. Then it was called as home science college. It is in the agriculture university. And that is a little different from home science because we have many agriculture subjects and rural development because it is in the agriculture field. Now they have renamed it as community science college. Uh, so I studied there. I did my MSc. I did my PhD there. And then I become I became an assistant professor, professor, and retired as dean of that college. So since two years, uh, I have retired now. But uh, during lockdown, to, uh, 2020, everybody knows, uh, I started that balcony garden. So when I was doing my MSc and PhD, I completed all the horticulture courses that were there in the university. So any horticulture, ex those who have done PG in horticulture, even that, uh, all those courses, what that person has done, I have completed. Uh, so, this is about myself. So, I thought I'll talk a little about tray gardens and terrariums. So, tray gardens, so here, here is one example. You can call it a tray garden if you want or just a mix of uh, succulents. So, tray gardens need not uh, necessarily be in a tray. It's a, a mixed uh, garden-like. So, but... One thing is important when you have your tray gardens is uh, you don't mix the plants that are not suited to one another. These are purely succulents. So the watering conditions, light conditions will remain same for this. But if I want to have a tray garden with these uh, plants, like for example, this um, monstera is there. You can have philodendrons. You can have these uh, pelias. We can have um, bunny plants or pothos, they are called. You can have only those. Avoid mixing your succulents with these leafy ones because their water requirements are very uh, difficult. And normally, uh, the soil mix for cactus and succulents, um, I use 50% uh, of sand and uh, 25 each of soil and compost. Actually, they don't need much fertilizer, but only at the beginning we give. And then uh, to have uh, as a pesticide, you can have a little bit of neem cake. That is, and I don't really, uh, use any chemical fertilizers or chemical pesticides. Um, for succulent tray gardens, I use 50, 20, 20, and maybe a little bit of uh, neem khali or neem cake, what you call. That acts as a uh, natural uh, pesticide also. 
so and then uh, this is a pot which has a lot of depth normally for succulent and cactus uh, we can use uh, plants which are little shallow like this or these are also this everything depends on your watering no hard and fast rules actually there are basic rules but if you are uh, an expert in gardening you can manage that also for example i didn't uh, show you there there is one succulent plant which i just kept it in a pot and there was some coco peat in it and there they took root and it's growing so well so there is no drainage hole and coco peat is a no no for uh, succulents and cacti but there so i am monitoring the watering there so when i take like this then you have to monitor your watering uh, no 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 spring you have to give deep watering deep watering so that the water comes down because uh, down if it doesn't touch the roots what you feel they require less water and put here it will touch only the surface the bottom root, uh, roots will not get it so you water it thoroughly till the water goes down and then you keep it for many days but again when you water see that it you water it uh, thoroughly if the roots have gone deep then they will need the water if you go on uh, putting little water then uh, it will uh, only the upper roots will get the water so this one is there then uh, uh, and then afterwards normally for succulent uh, trays and all we suggest topping it with some pebbles or stones either you can take like this kind pebbles or you can take some uh, uh, bigger ones bigger ones and uh, or you can take this fine sand also there are there is one particular reason because uh, the leaves should not rest on the soil by chance you are doing a compact arrangement if the leaves are resting on the soil then that wetness will be there if you put these uh, stones then the water will uh, go down and it will not remain uh, wet the upper surface will not uh, remain wet and it also looks nice uh, the, the so two purposes are there one it looks beautiful and the other is that uh, the yeah so you can have a, whatever choice you want you get a variety of uh, colorful stones also i have got them in the market only you get them in packets of uh, kgs and all that or whenever you go some river side and all that you can collect your own uh, this uh, i have a lot of them but pebbles. yeah pebbles and all you can collect and uh, you can have and then another reason uh, 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 while watering at least the dent will not fall if you put it on the stones otherwise when you are watering it's better you water with a small watering can and never okay watering itself is a <laughs> big topic by itself i never allow your help to water uh, especially cacti and succulents and uh, you must have noticed i don't have a um, what you say tap there from the bedroom i bring the pipe and i have left it only till there so that they don't get tempted to use the pipe you have to take in the bucket and go and uh, uh, pour it so that way for other plants it's okay but uh, for uh, succulents and all you should not water overhead and you should water here and uh, um, water it uh, thoroughly so this is one uh, uh, tray garden i spoke of then you have another tray garden of foliage plants only this is a very old one almost 4 years now it's already broken i thought i should replace but i'll tell you <coughs> i'll show you because it's also overgrown this is called as the peperomia this is also very easy growing all these plants are very easy to grow peperomia and uh, this is these are arelias they will go uh, tall and uh, these you have, this is called called as the inch plant or the calisa repens or what is turtle vine so and then you have uh, this uh, other uh, plant also hanging plant baby tears and what else did i have here is also another arelia so when you have a tray garden if you have an idea like you should have thrillers fillers and spillers so the tall ones are called as thrillers then middle are fillers and those which are falling down are called as spillers so if you have that idea no you can have spillers here thrillers behind and fillers in the uh, center so you should know the growth of that plant how it grows how it behaves so that you can mix those type of 
uh, plants only when you are here i have got cuttings you can keep making cuttings from your own this uh, instead of buying every time i have seen many people do tray gardens they buy a lot of succulents keep them together and then fix them up you can have your own uh, uh, what you say uh, babies or propagated young ones so that you can make your own trays otherwise you will be thinking oh i have paid 300 for this i have paid 400 for this and if i put them correctly will they come or will they not come so if you have your own at least you have the chance to uh, try different combinations and you are not so stressful that you might uh, lose them so i make some cuttings like this and i can uh, use them also so i yeah yeah usually i uh, my regular soil is i told you succulents 50% otherwise it is 30 30 30 1/3 third sand 1/3 uh, soil and 1/3 vermicompost and little bit of uh, neem cake yeah for all mostly otherwise you you go on the net they will tell you one for uh, african violets one for philodendrons one for pothos like i keep telling everybody there are so many soil mixes like a grandmother has uh, each grandmother has different recipe for sambar like that each gardener has his own soil mix so my soil mix is like this and this i studied in my school uh, sorry in college when they taught me and i am still continuing of course people do say that uh, nowadays it is difficult to get construction sand Uh, but i i still use uh, there are some uh, advantages disadvantages they are heavy for the pots uh, when you use sand so they have lighter uh, material uh, but i am not for any of those i am you can call me a old school type of gardener or traditional gardener who follows the old rules only mm, and uh, nowadays if you go on the internet or, or you go to the Mm, uh, nurseries they will tell you there is perlite there is vermiculite there is uh, copepeat uh, i also tried them but i thought let me then i realized my old uh, one is this uh, uh, best one this is the succulent tray garden uh, i have cut some uh, succulents and kept yes when you want to plant succulents either you take the rooted ones like i said you buy from the nursery you take the rooted ones and plant them they already have the root to absorb your water but if you are putting cuttings like this they don't have any root to absorb so you allow the surface to callus it should dry up callus c a l l u s callus so that it dries up and if you put in a wet soil uh, it uh, there will not be any fungal attack or any bacterial attack and all for that and then or or else if it is fresh you take it and put it in completely dry like this you wait for some time these because uh, yala coming i have cut them 4 uh, days back you uh, leave them for 4 to 5 days then you see they are all dried up so uh, those you can uh, plant make some uh, arrangement with that and uh, if if they are dried up then as soon as you plant you can put water if they haven't dried up then you put it and don't water for some time nothing is going to happen even for 15 20 days these have enough moisture in them so uh, whether it is cacti or whether it is succulents uh, there is lots of moisture in them so they can do without that like i said when you are going out of station uh, instruct your help not to touch your cactus and succulents even for 15 days if you are going unless you are going for a month or two and all that then you can tell that once in 15 days to water not to water overhead not to water with the pipe but to and uh, not to under water it also so here uh, i'll demonstrate to you and show you how i bought all these or maybe somebody can come and try and see what is the best combination i'm also not sure how it will uh, turn out you want to <laughs> Yeah, Asha. Yes, Asha is uh, artistic. She makes arrangements and also she might know. No, no, please. No, and it's also very important to know the size of the plant that it is going to take. For example, I, I brought this plant just to show you. I used to use a lot of these plants. They look very cute when they are small, but they overgrow so much that the others will remain small, and this will overtake the whole. This. So nowadays, I've stopped using it in. a uh, tray gardens in fact i have made a lot of tray gardens but uh, most of them are gifted and uh, to show you i have only one this one uh, 
ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಿಗ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯಾ ಯಾ and then you can decorate it with any of these i have these ceramic ones this suits this yeah you, you put yeah. somewhere in between yeah. so another thing is uh, when you uh, see the uh, online uh, i mean uh, many of the youtube this for uh, succulent trays they will show you very compact trays in fact they'll be pushing them in with that that is mostly not in our country they are all from abroad uh, and california is known for that because of the uh, heat and the sunlight they have and they can afford that compactness but whether it is belgaum or dharwad or bangalore there is so much of moisture content that they will not do well they will rot if you do that so we need little gap allow them to grow also and when it becomes too uh, congested then uh, rotting and uh, uh, something like mealy bugs and all uh, will attack that yeah are you taking it like some of the mushrooms ha the made go see the dripping ones are these are the dripping ones yeah, yeah. so it can put yeah, the yeah. edge this one also that's also see that it yeah yeah oh i, j- I didn't tell you no yeah. see all of them should have holes i don't suggest once or twice i must be having but then who's going to monitor every time so they must have a drainage hole you can cover the drainage hole through this or the old method of doing it with, was with these broken pot pieces ah uh, you so that Yeah. a pot pots have that curved surface no so it it becomes like this and uh, you can cover it with that uh, or you can cover it with this and uh, sometimes i used to even use dry leaves dry leaves so that uh, uh, the it will drain the water but uh, it will not uh, clog the this over a period of time it can become rot and rot and it can become uh, uh, compost also for that ah oh. See? Yeah, you want to put anything? They are little big, you know? Yeah. Let me cover them. when you put the pebbles see that none of them are resting on the soil okay it's okay to move that it's okay to move take this another check it pebble uh, plants are not resting on the soil no hmm now you put the leaf should not touch the uh, soil yeah yeah ಇಲ್ಲ <laughs> 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 we can water today today yeah, yeah. we can now some people can come you know <laughs> now no this is a uh, succulent one succulent. let us make this one anybody wants to anybody come anybody want asha that asha hey next time everybody please say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can okay so they are one so there you are ಈ ಸ್ಪಿಲ್ಲರ್ ಸ್ಪಿಲ್ಲರ್ ಹಾಕ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಇದೊಂದು ಬ್ಯಾಗ್ ಹಾಕೋರಿ ಹಾಂ 
ಇದನ್ನ ಹಾಕಿರ್ಬೇಕ ಶೀ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಯಾರ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಮುರ್ಬಿಡ್ರಿ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿ ತಕೊಂಡ್ರು ನೋ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎರರ್ ಸೊ ಶಿ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ನೈಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶುವರ್ this one this one is called as the scientifically it is known as calisa ripens because it goes on the ground ripens are always going on the ground they call it as this is the pink lady in june july it's so perfectly pink and very pretty but gradually it changed the color now and i feel oh i've lost it but when again june comes no it will turn back you have you have without this color also i want this place to be treated ashte some more take the one good list yeah i am done no no that will not look nice because it it will be overgrown can this root no this is for me and you <laughs> no because it's a small one no you just have that then you have some i need lot yeah this is also one thank you it's going inside like no so let it be little up okay uh, everywhere mushrooms are there looking nice no no then you just put some pillars that's all this is the same please remove this i don't want that mushroom the final touches hi everyone hi <laughs> on behalf of all our uh, ladies group gardeners club belgam i would like to thank mrs shobha nagnur for allowing us to have a wonderful uh, tour of our uh, her garden and even she allowed us to actually prepare the these things also nice um, uh, arrangements. arrangements she guided us so well and she explained about the plants and how to take care of the plants and everything very nice of her i thank her on behalf of all our group and thank you shobha once again and she has taken lot of care of even arranging food and all for us especially north karnataka delicacies so thank you shobha thank you so much and we request welcome. you to visit our club also once and you can just interact with everybody you can explain about new plants i would like to visit some people the gardens yeah, yeah. each garden is unique like i said definitely you can visit us we would like to invite you okay okay thank you so much most welcome yeah.